Hello, today we're going to be taking a look at copying files between Windows containers and the local file system with Docker. When it comes to copying files to and from Windows containers, it's a little bit different from Linux containers. I'll show you what I mean in a little bit. First, let's start up a new container called container1 using the docker run command. Now that the container is running, let's take a look at the files on my local file system. For this demo, I have one text file called test copy and a folder called docker copy. And inside that folder, there are more text files. These are the files that I want to copy to container1. First, let me show you that I don't have any tricks up my sleeve by opening a PowerShell session to container1. When I list the contents of the C drive, you'll notice the usual files and folders that are typically on a Windows installation. Note that there is no docker copy folder or test copy text file. Now I'll exit this container and go back to my host. The first thing that I want to do is copy my text file to container1. I can do this by running docker cp followed by a source path, which is my test file, and a destination path, which is my container name, colon, then the path where I would like that file to be copied on the container. Here's where Windows containers will differ a little bit from Linux containers. With Windows containers, you can't currently copy to or from a running container. We'll need to stop the container first. Now that container one is stopped, let's try to rerun our copy. That looks like it worked this time. Now, you can also copy entire folders if you don't want to copy one file at a time. To do that, I'll just specify my docker copy folder instead of my text file. Now we can go ahead and start up container one again and enter a PowerShell session. When I look at the contents of the C drive now, we can see that both the docker copy folder and the text file have been copied to this container. Take a look at the files that are currently on the root of C. I'm going to want to copy that license.txt file from this container to my local file system. So let's go ahead and exit this running container, and then we're going to stop the container. In order to copy a file from a container to the local file system, we just need to reverse the source and destination fields in the docker cp command. So here, I'm going to copy license.txt from container1 to the docker folder on my C drive. Now we can see that the license file from the container is in my local folder. And that's how you copy files between Windows containers and the local file system with Docker. Thanks for watching.